Uh, good morning, you guys. We are here at the Cleveland Museum, part of the museum, <laughs> Cleveland Zoo, part of your Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. And as you can see behind me, the third annual Asian Lantern Festival is here. And boy, oh boy, look at this. You can see this is a big, I think that's a dragon. Is that a dragon, you guys? Is that a dragon? It is a dragon. Ta -da -da, Kenny wins. Now you can also see the, the COVID-19 compliant sign there. Remind us to keep six feet apart. You know, the wingspan of a turkey vulture. But the, the Asian Lantern Festival, huge. First year it got here, it broke records internationally. And it breaks records almost every time we come here. And the captain of the ship, Captain Chris Guhar right here. Good to see you, Cap. How are you? Kenny, how are you? I'm good, man. All right. Well, boy, this is called the Temple of Heaven, and uh, a heavenly experience is what we want people to have when they come out for the third annual Asian Lantern Festival. Is that right? Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. We're bringing back 70 all-new lanterns, so it's a great new experience. If you've come in the past, you know it's a great experience, but we got a whole new show for folks. We're excited to have people out. And that's great because some people have made it all three years, and you know, if you have for the last two, excuse me, if you made it the last two years, you're still going to see lanterns that you haven't seen in the previous years. That's what's so cool about this whole thing. Yeah, we've got some great interactive zones where you're worried about touching with your hands, you can touch with your feet. Okay. Uh, so we got that going on. We've got a lot of more lanterns that have movement in them this year and just some really great displays. We have a huge 200 foot long Phoenix on Waterfall Lake that you really got to check out. Yeah. So it's all new, it's really exciting. I really wish for once that my shot was done at night so people can see it because they see, oh, that looks neat. But when the night falls and these things are lit up from the inside out, it just takes on a whole different look, doesn't it, Chris? Yeah, we, we did a walkthrough last night uh, and then I was in here early this morning before it got light out. It is amazing at night. So it's, it's, they're beautiful during the day. Yeah. You can come see them during the day, but really come check them out at night. That's awesome. And um, you guys are COVID-19 compliant. So there's going to be, you, you've kind of taken um, the bull by the horns. You walk one way through and there's going to be less people, less tickets sold to create more of a space, correct? Yeah, we're not going to break records this year. We're going to control the capacity, make sure everybody has enough room to be safe, get your social distancing on. Mm -hmm. um, but again, one-way traffic flow, and we've done that for the past couple of years. It really works well for this kind of event yeah. where you're walking through in a single direction, let people space out, but still a great opportunity to get some really good photos, experience some, some of the culture with food and some of the activities. So it's a really great event. Yeah, and get your tickets in advance because this will sell out, especially since we're being COVID-19 compliant, correct? Yeah, we're encouraging folks to get online and get those tickets in advance. That way you know you got a spot. Thank you so much, Chris. Always good to see you, Captain. When we come back, lots more Fox 8 news. So stay with us.